Hello, my name is Abe Stamper and I am part of the support team here at Dynamic Ratings. Today I'll be showing you how to log into the E3 and download configuration and log files. There are several different applications that can be used to log into the E3. The one most commonly used here at DR is PuTTY and WinSCP. PuTTY is a free and open source secured application used to enter commands at the terminal line of the E3. And WinSCP is another free and open source secure file transfer application. Applications like HyperTerminal and TerraTerm can also be used to download files from the unit. Once the Ethernet cord is plugged into the E3 CPU, as well as into your PC, you can log onto WinSCP. You type in the host IP address of the E3, a port number of 22, um, as well as the login information of the E3. This should be the same that you use to log into PuTTY and also ensure a file protocol of SFTP. Once in WinSCP, then you can navigate to the home menu and then select the ETC folder. This contains all the configuration files of the E3 and using control A, you can select all the files then navigate where on your PC you'd like to download all these files. Then select the download button on the top right portion of WinSCP. You will then repeat this step for the log data portion of the E3. Um, to do this, you will log back into the home folder and go to Home, DRMCC, Log, use Control A to select it all, and then click the download button once again. Now I will show you how to use TerraTerm to log in and grab the configuration files, as well as the log files for the E3. For TerraTerm, you can use transfer files using either the serial connection, via USB A to B connected through either the console or RS-232 port on the E3 CPU or a TCP connection via Ethernet. You'll select the comms port again, as well as the baud rate of 115200, 8 data bits, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control. Once this, you use your login information from the E3 manual to log into the E3. Then, you will navigate to the home DRMCC ETC folder, which contains, again, the configuration files for the E3. Then to select all the files in the folder, you'll type in SZ asterisk period asterisk. Then going to change directory, you will select exactly where you want the files to go on your PC. Then you go to File, Transfer, Zmodem, and Receive, and the files begin to send to the location selected on your PC. Then you will navigate to the log folder by typing in cd forward slash home forward slash drmcc forward slash log and then do the same by navigating to the receive. Go file, transfer, zmodem, and receive. And this will send all the log files to your PC. Now I'll show you how to log in and grab the configuration files and log files using HyperTerminal. Like TerraTerm, HyperTerminal is connected via serial connection, either via RS-232 or a USB A to B cord. First, you'll select the COM port on your PC, as well as the correct baud rate, eight data bits, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control. Then you'll log in using the login information from the manual. You will navigate to the home DRMCC ETC folder, Then you will go to transfer, receive file, and select where on your PC you'd like for these files to be saved.
type in sz asterisk period asterisk to select all the files and then it will begin to save all the files to your PC locally. And then you will do the same for the log data by typing cd forward slash home forward slash drmcc forward slash log to navigate to the correct directory. And then again, type sz asterisk period asterisk, and then it will begin to download all of the log data portion. And that is how you download both the configuration and log files from an E3. For more information, you can log into our customer portal located at dynamicratings.com. And if you have any additional questions, you can reach out to dr at support at dynamicratings.com. Thank you very much.